Wow, I can see sunspots. Hey there! Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Venus. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Testia Smartphone Telescope Adapter. Um, the solar eclipse is happening in a few weeks. I think uh, April 7th, April 8th. Yeah, the solar eclipse is going to be happening April 8th. And I am very interested to be able to capture that on film. Uh, I am in the Austin area now and the solar eclipse is going to be happening just right over us. So very interested in, in capturing that. While I'm doing this unboxing, I'll be talking about a little bit of what I've been up to all this time. Can you believe it? Um, it's been like six years since I last posted a video here. Um, and a lot has been happening for me. I think the last thing I ever posted was my Japan and Korea trip. Since that time, I haven't had the time to travel as much as I would have liked. I've had a kid, I was able to buy my first house uh, in the Austin area, and I even was able to, after that, um, build our first house uh, with a new construction, which was very exciting, uh, very fun. But let's go take a look at what's in this box here. So I bought this um, not directly from the Vinus, Valnus, I can't see it for the life of me, I'm gonna just butcher it every single time. I didn't buy it directly from them. I actually bought it off someone who couldn't make it to um, watch the solo clip, so they're selling their kit. Let's see what we have here. Wow, comes in a nice case. Let's see what we got. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we have some lens cleaning wipes. And then we have the unit here. Do not directly observe the sun with the naked eye. Never point at the sun without a Vinus vi vi solar filter installed. So this is, I guess you could rearrange these wherever you want. Then here's the solar filter. There's a little bracket. Um, wow, it hasn't even been opened yet. The plastic is still on there. You can pull plastic. Here, I did that on film. <laughs> so, a fun little trivia thing about me is that I often don't like pulling off plastics. Well, my wife loves doing that. So if there's some piece of plastic that doesn't need to be um, pulled off, like on top of the keyboard or something like that, that doesn't really affect you from typing it, I will keep that there as long as possible. And you might ask, why do you do that? Well, the reason being is that I want it to be as pristine and new and protected as long as possible. But my wife, she just loves pulling off the plastics from everyone. Else. Anyway, let's go see how this thing works. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy here. I'm guessing this is a tripod. Nice plate. Slide forward and backward. Just push this. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's put this plate onto here. This is uh, larger than the standard um, tripod mount. Here, I'm just curious. If I keep this thing on, will it be able to go fit into here? Sort of. It does sort of have a bump on the bottom here that can fit in the bottom here. So I guess when I put this away, I might have to take this off. So you put this on here. Uh, 
るんですあっ OK let's go down with the app Gravity by Vanis Still not sure if I'm saying it right Scan the QR code on the back side so, Give you instructions when you get the app. So, uh, let's put this back together. So weird. All right, I'm gonna go pick this outside and see if we could um, fill the sun or something like that. See you outside. Alrighty guys, I have this set up outside. I am going to try taking pictures of the sun for the first time and doing all this with one hand. So I have the solar filter right here. Let's put that on. the sun you can use the sun guide accessory in order to put the sun at the center of the screen more easily the shadow on the top part of the sun guide should be aligned with the bottom part of the guide a ray of light should go straight through the hole and appear at the center of the sun guide all right so I got it set up you have to go use this uh, side thing to align where the uh, sun comes through so when the sun shines through here you want the spot to be exactly right at that dot in the back there but um right now it's sun so the sun is setting so the sun actually is moving rapidly you can see I aligned it before and already the sun is a little bit off of that spot I don't know if you can see that so just a tad off and you can see that's an image that's really cool I'm gonna maybe I'll show the direct image from the camera but um you can see sunspots which is amazing that tad, oh. it's so hard because any slight movement is uh, very shaky in the, in the image um, so that's how this is set up Definitely uh, on the day of the eclipse, I'm going to have to set this up early and I'm going to want to make sure everything is in place. So there's the solar filter right here and that's a picture of the sun which is rapidly coming out of frame. This is going too low, too much. So I am looking forward to using this in the Eclipse. I'm just worried because the Eclipse is going to be so short and I hope I um, get the shot. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing with this and uh, see you guys at the Eclipse.